David Berenbaum says that for thousands of years, people have had an adversarial relationship with bees because they sting. But uh, on the other hand, uh, people all over the world have developed a dependency on the honeybee because it is really the world's premier managed pollinator. And uh, here in the U.S., for example, over 90 crops depend on honeybees for pollination services. And Berenbaum says farmers rely on bees to pollinate crops ranging from nuts to melons. They are directly responsible for pollinating $19 billion worth of crops each year in the United States alone. But many bees have been lost in recent decades in what scientists call colony collapse. In North America, it has been a problem especially in the past five years. Berenbaum says there are many reasons for the decline. One is the long-distance transport of bees for pollination and the subsequent spread of bee diseases from one region to another. She says the toll of disease is worsened by the buildup of pesticides in bee colonies. While scientists like her study the problem, she says consumers can help. You can buy local honey. Um, local honey is available at stores only because there's a local beekeeper uh, who went to the trouble of harvesting it. So the more beekeepers there are, the more honey there is. We've, over the last 25 years, seen an alarming decline in the number of beekeepers. It's starting, uh, the interest is resurging, which is the best news for America's bees, actually, more beekeepers. She says people can also help the honeybee by planting more flowers and becoming more tolerant of weeds, some of which offer food for pollinators like bees. Berenbaum was in Los Angeles to accept the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement, which is administered by the University of Southern California. She says the $200,000 cash award will help expand a project of hers involving citizen scientists. We have one project called Bee Spotter, which is now restricted to Illinois, where we ask people to go out with a digital camera, uh, even a cell phone, and photograph either bumblebees or honeybees. She says the project is already yielding data. A citizen scientist outside Peoria actually uh, sent in a photograph of a, of a species of bumblebee, the rusty patch bumblebee, Bombus affinis, that was thought to have gone extinct in that area and was recovered by a private citizen with a digital camera. Berenbaum says not least among the contributions of the bee is the honey it produces in infinite variations flavored by local flowers. Besides its important work as a pollinator, she notes, the honeybee makes our lives a little sweeter. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.